Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be working the 2019 past paper question that looks at many. Before me I have the question and I'm going to start off by going through the question with you after which we're going to type the information together. All right, um, it starts off by saying, produce the required document following all instructions. Using A4 or letter size paper, create a one page menu. Save the document as menu. Here we have the information, fine dine restaurant, fine dine restaurant and catering services and under the and symbol here that we use, right? It says retain, a B B R meaning an abbreviation. So it means that you should keep this abbreviation and you should not write out the word and. All right, but you should retain this abbreviation, keep it. Then we have the rest of the information being displayed. Now, all of this will be in the letter head. All right, this is the letter head that has been coming down from the beginning of the question with the letter. All right, from um, the first question to this question, question four. So this is a letterhead, so all of this will be placed in the header of the page, okay? And then please note that um, some of the information, for example, T-E-L-E, telly, all right? But if it is that we're writing this out for the letterhead, you should spell out the word telephone, all right? It is telephone, and then we put the colon, which is a dot, dot, just as though you have it here for email, right? You put it there as well, all right? So that's it for the most part. Now, after we are through with the letter head, it says that we should write Sandra's 50th birthday celebration. Now, it's circled with some instructions. It says use a suitable word art to do that. And the TH for the 50th is underlined and it says use superscript. Now, if you have the later version of Microsoft, you may not be able to put this TH in superscript. All right, I have various versions that I use. And for the 2007 version, I was unable to put this um, in the TH, the TH in superscript. So I had to go to my 2013 version, which, which is what I'll be using for today's video to get this TH to be superscript. And basically superscript speaks about raising characters above the line. All right, so it's going to go in the air. And subscript speaks about putting it below the line, H2O, so that 2 is in subscript, but fifth TH goes up in the here, so it's called superscript. All right, then we see the information be displayed here. All right, going through all. So it says to the right, display the menu attractively following all instructions. The first thing, center all information on the page. Number two says bold all subheadings. What are our subheadings? appetizer, main course, side orders, Caesar, etc. All of those are our side subheadings rather. All right, then number three says insert a decorative page border. So you're going to let it look pretty by putting a border around the entire page. And then number four says insert an appropriate logo. All right, now you're asked to insert a logo. So that means that you will have to go and search on the internet to get that logo to put into your document. Hopefully the computers that you're using will be able, you will be able to access the internet. If not, then you just go to Clipart and see what is there that can be used. All right, but it says appropriate, note that keyword. And so the internet comes into play here. All right, also, I'm seeing some manuscript sign, just one. It's not a hard, um, not a hard menu. Right, and I'm seeing um, um, a sign here. Now it's three, I see a down arrow, right? This symbol here means down, and the number two, two and SP means space. So it says down two spaces. So it simply means that after we type beef patties, we're gonna go down, enter once, enter twice, and then we start typing the next heading, which is dinner menu. All right, so once we go down two spaces, it will simply mean that there will be one space between the information, which will be a double space. All right, but they're not speaking about double space and etc. here. They're just telling you when you're typing, just go down two space to continue the next information. All right, if you realize it's very spacey, well, this one went down two space. All right, but for the others, they're telling us to close this large gap by going down on the page. All right, so it's basically... And once you're, you've typed it, you realize it's just a double space between the information. 
All right, so we're going to go over to Microsoft Word where we're going to put in this information right now. All right, so I'm going to start off by splitting my screen. All right, so here we are. All right, so I'm in Microsoft Word. Here. All right, so, so I'm going to click on Styles and select No Spacing. Times New Roman font size 12. All right, now, it doesn't have to be on Times New Roman font size 12, all right? But I, I, I'm accustomed to that by default. We are doing what is called a display work, and as such, you are able to use different fonts and um, sizes, etc. All right, but that is the standard, so I like to stick to that. And if the question asks me to do any variation, all right, because it doesn't have to be font size 12. This question here didn't say it has to be 12. All right, maybe it can be 11 or so because it's a one page document, and if you're doing it and it's not going on one page, being a display work, you can change the font. All right, but you go according to what they, they stipulate. This question did not stipulate any specific format size. All right, it told us about um, word art, etc. But if it doesn't, then we just stick to Times New Roman and um, work accordingly from there. All right, so I have done my preliminary to some extent. Um, let me double check to see produce a for paper. Create one page. It didn't tell you about any margin. And by default, mine is at um, one inch all around. All right, so now we're going to start off with our letter head. All right, and I have done some save. I've typed most of this already and I've saved it on my clipboard so that we can move a bit faster with the video. All right, but all right, so it starts off here. Let me double click in my header. All right, so when I click in my header, it will take me to 0 0.5 inches by default. All right, now for your exam, let me widen this page and do some talking before. All right, so 0 0.5 inches. I'm going to go to one. I'm going to take it down a bit. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to take that to 0 0.3 inches. All right, 0 0.3 inches. At 0 0.3 inches, the, um, they may ask you to write the question number that you're doing. So question, this was question four that year. Question four, I'm going to tab across, and then they're going to ask you to also put in your um, your candidate number or your registration number. What? I'm just typing some fictitious things. One, two, three, four, five, and then your four-digit number. Three, four. All right. So, say that is my candidate number. All right. So, once I've done it at 0 0.3 inches, I'm going to press Enter key one time to give me to take me to 0 0.4 inches, and another time to take me now back to 0 0.5 inches, which is where your letter head should start. All right, so here I am at 0 0.5 inches. What do I do now? Now, it says, normally I, I type my logo to the side for this question. They ask me to put it at the top. All right, so what am I going to do? Let me widen this section here. I'm going to go on the internet. And I could have copied the logo ahead of time, but I wanted you to see how I with this part because persons have been asking me about insertion of graphics etc so i am going to go on google and i'm going to type something so it's called fine dine restaurant and catering services so maybe i say restaurant logo all right and i'm going to go on images and i'm going to see what i see there if anything looks nice for me well something has to look nice because i have to do it for the exam all right so I'm just going to go through and I'm not going to take long because I'm in an exam and I'm pretending to be you here. All right, I'm going to click on this. I'm in an exam and we have to hurry up. All right, so this is what I selected. All right, this one has something behind it. I don't want that. So select the next. Okay, here is one. This one is good. All right, so I'm going to click on it, right click and select copy image. And that's it. Let me go back on my question. Where is my question? All right, here's my question. Go back to my question. And then go back on the page all right so here i'm on the page and i'm gonna press ctrl v to paste that logo here it is all right now it came very large no problem i'm just gonna small it up all right size it to where i want it to be all right now before i 
take it down any further you realize it has a black band at the bottom all right so i'm gonna go to all right so i'm gonna click on picture and picture um hold on picture format and i'm gonna select crop and crop allows me to take off excess things from around my images all right and take off what i do not want once i've done that i click off and then there you have it all right make it making it a bit smaller all right then i'm going to put this to the center oh and it's not moving i'm clicking and it's not moving so you know what i always say let me go back i need to change this to i'm trying to see if click on arrange and um, wrap text and i'm going to select square square allows you to um to position the text or the image anywhere you want i'm going to press enter to get some more space in my letter head uh, let me widen this page i don't know if you're getting what i'm doing all right to get some more space here to do what i'm doing so i'm going to click on it and put it in the center all right so that is it um, below that, I'm now going to insert the information for my letterhead. I'm going to go on my clipboard where I have that already typed and click on it. There you have it. Let me close this out. So there you have it. And I'm going to take out now the excess space from out of my letterhead. And that is it. All right. So my letterhead is now complete. I'm going to double click outside. All right. To start the typing of this memo. Not memo. Sorry typing of this menu all right so i'm going to go back to the small screen here and go back to this so it says sandra's 50th birthday celebration use a word art and put the th in superscript let's get to that so i'm going to go to insert and i'm going to go across to word art all right so i'm going to click on the arrow beside the a and i'm going to select something here let's say attractive i don't know what looks nice oh man all right let me click this a all right and then i'm going to type the information uh oh sandra's 50th birthday celebration all right um now i'm going to carry down this as it relates to size it seems a bit large to me the th went let me undo i don't know how the th went in the superscript without me putting it there all right let me try that again th space oh it, it did it by itself okay 50th it did it by itself All right, but if it didn't do it all right so this is too large let me go home highlight this decrease my font size all right i don't want it too large on the page and take it across so that is my um my word art now if it is that the th didn't um go up there all right i highlight it here is a superscript icon the x with the two above let me undo that there it is below on the line and I click on it and it goes above. All right. So that's if it didn't do it by itself. All right. And also the shortcut key would be control shift and the plus sign. Control plus shift plus a plus sign. All right. And that, that will give it to you as well. So we're on our way. Let us go back to the question. So once we have done that, it now says that we should insert cocktail party serving this information here. Then we go two spaces down and insert the word dinner menu. All right, so let us try that. So after this, click out of that, pressing my, pressing enter, and the thing is moving. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it up and double click below it. All right, so that's if it can go up somewhere. Remember, it's a one page document, so you don't want the document to be two spaces. All right, so there it is. Um, so the next thing is cocktail party so i'm going to go on my clipboard i typed that part already and i'm going to insert that 
After that, two spaces. So I'm going to enter one, two. Uh oh, oh, no. That looks two spaces. One, two. All right. And then I'm going to type, see it here in all capital letters. Let me close. In all capital letters, the word dinner menu. Dinner menu. All right. And it, the font looks different, so it jumped off. There it is, Calibre 11. Jumped off Times New Roman. All right. So let me put it back. On track. All right. So while. Hold on. Times New Roman. Font size. 12. All right, so there it is. So appetizer. So I'm just going to insert the other information. I have all of that on my clipboard. So let me widen this and let us get to that. Open my clipboard and then I'm going to go one, two. Somehow this, yeah, it came up no spacing. Once I started, I realized that. So I'm going to select no spacing. And you have to look out for these things. Okay, guys. So, one, two, perfect. So it is, let me go now, appetizer, then one, two. So one, two. Name four, side orders, one, two. Two spaces and one, two. One, two. All right, that is it. It went on page two. It's just exactly. Eh? Let me delete. Went on page two. Just exactly. If I had gone any more, then it would have gone on page two. All right. Um, the dressing here should be capital. Capital D. All right, so I have everything. Let me close out. All right, so I have everything. Let us go back to the question. All right, let's see what they say now. So we have all those down two spaces. Good. All right, so it says, display the following menu attractively center all the information on the page. So let us go highlight everything. And we go to center alignment. Center all the information on the page. Bold all subheadings. I am looking on the question. Cocktail party and dinner menu are already bold. All right, so they want us to bold all subheadings. So I'm going to highlight as many as I can from this page by holding down my control key. All right, then I press bold. Let me go up and do the rest. So these are my subheadings, but dinner menu and cocktail party were already in bold. All right, um, insert a decorative page border, insert an appropriate logo. We inserted the logo already. All right, so we're finished basically. So let me, all right, just do this. All right, so the final thing we have to do now is for our page border. So I'm just going to go on design. Right, once I click on design, I'm going to go over to, you have page border, page color. I'm going to select page borders, all right? And then I'm going to, it says a decorative page border. So we have borders here, all right? So we have all borders here that we can use, or you have art borders that you can use. It says decorative, so it's a menu. All right, so you can choose anything. Let me see, check in to see if I see any food or anything, no? All right, so let me see how this looks and press OK. All right, so that is it. That is it. Now, the information, you realize that the information for the candidate that I had at the top previously, I am not seeing it. All right, so all I need to do, let me go back into the letterhead. All right, let me wait. Undo first to see if it was there. All right, it is there. All right, and let me redo. All right, so we just have to make adjustment to this. So it's at 0 0.3 inches, so I'm gonna to go to 0 0.2. If I go to 0 0.2, it is there. All right, 
or let me go to 0 0.4 5 all right this is pushing it down but the spacing is still between all right and then i don't want to oh, so the information came off the page so you can't do it that way all right unless let me close out leave it at 0 0.6 and take up some space here all right so it's now back on one page and let me carry up this person's information a bit i don't want it to be too much together all right that looks like it can work all right that looks like it can work now we have a triple space between this one so let me select more space in to get some more space let me see if i can press enter yeah all right so that is it okay this is your one page menu thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please share it with someone who you think may benefit from this knowledge at this time also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe right and just join my edpm family uh also let me know in the comment section how you are doing as it relates to your exam preparation and everything thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload as i try each and every time to make edpm simple bye bye